a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Andhra Pradesh Andhra Pradesh is one of the 29 states of India which is situated on the southeastern coast of the country. The state is the eighth largest state in India covering an area of 162,970 square kilometers. As per the 2011 census of India, the state is 10th largest by population with 49,386,799 inhabitants. The largest cities in this state are Visakhapatnam and Vijayawada. On the 2nd of June 2014, the northwestern portion of Andhra Pradesh was separated to form a new state of Telangana. Andhra Pradesh's longtime capital, Hyderabad, was transferred to Telangana as part of the division. However, in accordance with the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act, 2014, Hyderabad will remain the de jure capital of both Andhra Pradesh and Telangana states for a period of time not exceeding 10 years. The new riverfront de facto capital, Amaravati, is under the jurisdiction of the Andhra Pradesh Capital Region Development Authority. The gross state domestic product of the state in the 2016-2017 financial year at current prices stood at. The state has a coastline of 974 kilometers, with jurisdiction over nearly 15,000 square kilometers territorial waters, the second longest coastline among the states of India after Gujarat. It is bordered by Telangana in the northwest, Odisha in the northeast, Karnataka in the west, Tamil Nadu in the south, and the water body of Bay of Bengal in the east. A small enclave of 30 square kilometers of Yanam, a district of Puducherry, lies south of Kakinada in the Godavari Delta on the east side of the state. Andhra Pradesh is composed of three major regions, coastal Andhra, Uttarangra and Rayalaseema, in the inland southwestern part of the state. These are three regions comprise 13 districts, with three in Uttaranra, six in coastal Andhra and four in Rayalaseema. Visakhapatnam, located on the Bay of Bengal in north coastal Andhra is the largest city and commercial hub of the state with a GDP of $43.5 billion, followed in population and GDP by Vijayawada, which is located on the bank of Krishna River and which has a GDP of $3 billion as of 2010. Andhra Pradesh hosted 121.8 million visitors in 2015, a 30% growth in tourist arrivals over the previous year, making it the third most visited Indian state. The Tirumala Venkateshwara Temple in Tirupati is one of the world's most visited religious sites, with 18.25 million visitors per year. Other pilgrimage centers in Andhra Pradesh include the Srikala Hasteeswara Temple at Srikala Hasti, the Malika Juna Geoterlinga at Srizilam, the Amin Pir Daga in Kadapa, the Mahachatya at Amaravati, the Kanaka Durga Temple in Vijayawada, and Prasantini Liam in Puttapati while the state's natural attractions include the beaches of Visakhapatnam, hill stations such as the Araku Valley and Horsley Hills, and the island of Konasima in the Godavari River Delta. Toponymy A tribe named Andhra was mentioned in Sanskrit texts such as Itarya Brahmana. According to Itarya Brahmana of the Rig Veda, the Anras left North India and settled in South India. The Satavahanas have been mentioned by the names Andhra, Anrarajatiya, and Anrabdya in the Puranic literature. They did not refer themselves as Andhra in any of their coins or inscriptions. It is possible that they were termed as Anras, because of their ethnicity or, because their territory included the Andhra region. Early and Medieval History Archaeological evidence from places such as Amaravati, Dianakota and Vadamanya suggests that the Andhra region was part of the Mauryan Empire. Amaravati might have been a regional center for Mauryan rule. After the death of Emperor Ashoka, Mauryan rule weakened around 200 BCE, and was replaced by several smaller kingdoms in the Andhra region. The Satavahana dynasty dominated the Deccan region from the 1st century BC to the 3rd century. The later Satavahanas made Dhyanakota and Amaravati their capital, which according to the Buddhists is the place where Nagarjuna, the philosopher of Mahayana lived in the 2nd and 3rd centuries. The Andhra Ikshvakus, with their capital at Vijayapuri, succeeded the Satavahanas in the Krishna River Valley in the later half of the 2nd century. Pallavas 
who were originally executive officers under the Satavahana kings, were not a recognized political power before the 2nd century AD, and were swept away by the Western Chalukyan invasion, led by Pulaxan II in the first quarter of the 7th century CE. After the downfall of the Ikshvakus, the Vishnukandinas were the first great dynasty in the 5th and 6th centuries, and held sway over the entire Andhra country, including Kalinga and parts of Telangana. They played an important role in the history of Deccan during the 5th and 6th century CE, with Eluru, Amaravati, and Puranizangam. The Salankayanas were an ancient dynasty that ruled the Andhra region between Godavari and Krishna with their capital at Venji from 300 to 440 CE. The eastern Chalukyas of Venji, whose dynasty lasted for around 500 years, from the 7th century until 1130 CE eventually merged with the Kola Empire. They continued to rule under the protection of the Kola Empire until 1189 CE when the kingdom succumbed to the Hoysalas and the Adavas. The roots of the Telugu language have been seen on inscriptions found near the Gunta district and from others dating to the rule of Renati Cholas in the 5th century CE. Kakatiyas ruled Andhra Pradesh state for nearly 200 years and constructed several forts. They were succeeded by the Musan Uri Nayaks. The Reddy dynasty was established by Prolaya of Emmeredi in the early 14th century, who ruled from present-day Kondavidu. Prolaya of Emmeredi was part of the confederation of states that started a movement against the invading Turkic Muslim armies of the Delhi Sultanate in 1323 CE and succeeded in repulsing them from Warangal. They constructed Kondavidu Fort which they ruled between 1328-1428, before it was taken over by the Gajpatha Sivarissa, and later ravaged by the Muslim rulers of the Bahmani Kingdom in 1458. The Vijayanagara Emperor Krishna Devaraya captured it in 1516. The Bukonda Sultans fought for the fort in 1531, 1536 and 1579 and Sultan Kunikudab Shah captured it in 1579, renaming it Murchuzanagar. Again it was reconquered by Vijayanagarans who overthrew Sultanate rule across the entirety of modern-day Andhra Pradesh. After this rebellion, the Bahmani Sultans launched no further military campaigns outside their kingdoms, because the Marathas soon emerged as the strongest power in India. Efforts are in progress to classify Kondavi Du Fort as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Pemasani Nayaks, the greatest kings, during Vijayanagara times ruled parts of Andhra Pradesh state with Gandhikotu as capital for nearly 300 years. The Vijayanagara Empire originated in the Deccan Plateau region in the early 14th century. It was established in 1336 by Hai Horanraya I and his brother Bukharaya I of the Sangama dynasty. The empire's patronage enabled fine arts and literature to reach new heights in Kannada, Telugu. Tamil and Sanskrit, while Carnatic music evolved into its current form. The Lepakshi group of monuments are culturally and archaeologically significant as it is the location of shrines dedicated to Shiva, Vishnu and Veerabhadra which were built during the Vijayanagara kings period. The temples are the location of mural paintings of the Vijayanagara kings, Dravidian art, and inscriptions. Near the temple complex is a large granite nandi bull, on a hillock known as Kermasela tortoise-shaped hill, are other temples to Pekunathaswara, Raghunatha, Srirama, and Durga. The government of Andhra Pradesh has taken the initiative for including the Lepakshi group of monuments among the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in India. Modern History Hayahorin and Booker, who served as treasury officers of the Kakatiyas of Wirangal, founded the Vijayanagara Empire in 1347 CE. An independent Muslim state, the Bahmani Sultanate, was established in South India by Alabamruddin Bahman Shah in a revolt against the Delhi Sultanate. The Qutb Shahi dynasty held sway over the Andhra country for about 200 years from the early part of the 16th century to the end of the 17th century. In the early 19th century Northern Circars was ceded to the British East India Company and became part of the Madras Presidency. Eventually this region emerged as the coastal Andhra region. Later the Nizam rulers of Hyderabad ceded five territories to the British that eventually became the Real Asima region. The Nizams retained control of the interior provinces as the princely state of Hyderabad, acknowledging British rule in return for local autonomy. However, 
Komram Beam, a tribal leader, started his fight against the erstwhile Asaf Jahi dynasty for the liberation of Hyderabad state. Meanwhile, the French occupied Yonam, in the Godavari Delta, and would hold it until 1954. In 1947 Vizianagaram was the largest Hindu princely state in Andhra Pradesh. India became independent from the United Kingdom in 1947. The Nizam wanted to retain the independence of the princely Hyderabad state from India, but the people of the region launched a movement to join the Indian Union. The state of Hyderabad was forcibly joined to the Republic of India with Operation Polo in 1948. Post-independence in an effort to gain an independent state based on linguistic identity, and to protect the interests of the Telugu-speaking people of Madras state, Poti Sriramulu fasted to death in 1952. As Madras became a bone of contention, in 1949 a JVP committee report stated, Andhra province could be formed provided the Anras give up their claim on the city of Madras. After Poti Sriramulu's death, the Telugu-speaking area of Andhra state was carved out of Madras state on 1 October 1953, with Kurnool as its capital city. On the basis of a gentleman's agreement of 1 November 1956, the state's reorganization act formed Andhra Pradesh by merging Andhra state with the Telugu-speaking areas of the already existing Hyderabad state. Hyderabad was made the capital of the new state. The Marathi-speaking areas of Hyderabad state merged with Bombay state and the Kannada-speaking areas were merged with Mysore state. In February 2014, the Andhra Pradesh Reorganisation Act 2014 bill was passed by the Parliament of India, for the formation of Telangana state comprising 10 districts. Hyderabad will remain as a joint capital for not exceeding 10 years. The new state of Telangana came into existence on 2 June 2014 after approval from the President of India. Number of petitions questioning the validity of Andhra Pradesh Reorganisation Act 2014 are long pending for verdict. Since April 2014 before the Supreme Court Constitutional Bench. Geography the state has varied topography ranging from the hills of eastern Ghats and Nalamala Hills, to the shores of Bay of Bengal that supports varied ecosystems, rich diversity of flora and fauna. There are two main rivers namely, Krishna and Godavari, that flow through the state. The seacoast of the state extends along the Bay of Bengal from Sri Kakalam to Nalore district. The plains, to the east of eastern Ghats form the eastern coastal plains. The coastal plains are for the most part of delta regions formed by the Godavari, Krishna, and Pena rivers. The eastern Ghats are discontinuous and individual sections have local names. The eastern Ghats are a major dividing line in the state's geography. The Kadapa Basin formed by two arching branches of the eastern Ghats is a mineral-rich area. The Ghats become more pronounced towards the south and extreme north of the coast. Most of the coastal plains are put to intense agricultural use. The rare La Sima region has semi-arid conditions. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?